Welcome to my studio. I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for dropping by. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this value scale using graphite pencils. Creating a value scale allows you to not only become familiar with your pencils, but how to control them. You also learn how to blend and create smooth texture, as well as create a tool that will give you an accurate way to compare your reference with your artwork. The supplies you will need are graphite pencils in varying degrees. I used an 8B, 6B, 2B, HB, 2H, 6H, and 8H of the Durant graphite pencil line a pencil sharpener, a smooth paper. I like to use the mixed media or Bristol, a slightly heavier weight, um, any size, it doesn't matter. A blending stump or a blending tool such as tissue or a Q-tip or something along those lines. A ruler, an eraser, and a mechanical pencil, or you can use the 2H for the outline. It's just for the outline, you won't be using it for anything else. First, you'll want to measure your paper and design your grid accordingly. You can make it as large or small as you want. I recommend making a scale from lightest to darkest of at least uh, 8 to 10 values, making each square slightly darker than the previous. Each box should reflect a consistent gradual step from one value to the next. You don't want huge gaps in your value scale. My completed scale ended up being 13 degrees or values with two additional at the end, which I will explain later in the video for a total of 15 squares. Leave a margin on each side of the paper and use a mechanical pencil or 2H to lightly draw in your evenly spaced guidelines for your scale. If you choose, you can also label each of the squares above or below with the pencil that you used and the amount of pressure to create that particular tone. This is really good if you're brand new to graphite pencil and you're just learning how to control your pencil. I use most of the pencils on two consecutive squares, varying how far back I hold my pencil, as well as the amount of pressure I apply. In this way, you learn how to control how much graphite your pencil leaves on the paper. I then blended each section with a blending stump, wiping the stump off each time so no additional graphite from the previous square would unnecessarily darken the next value too much. If you find you do not go dark enough to create the visual difference from one square to the next, then you can gradually darken the next square and blend until you reach that desired step. I suggest always working lighter and slowly make it darker. It is way easier to go darker than it is to make the dark light again. Not to mention the mess you make when you try to erase heavily layered graphite. As you work, notice how the pencil lays down. H pencils will be just a bit more scratchy and are harder to manipulate than the B pencils. The higher you move up in numbers, the harder or softer the pencil gets. H stands for hard and B stands for black. I will go over this in more detail in another video. I was not sure how many degrees in value I was going to do for this scale. But I recommend that if you decide you want 10 from the lightest to the darkest, then plan out your grid accordingly and create a scale filling exactly 10 value degrees with equal variations between each step. Mm -hmm. 
At the end, I also decided I wanted to compare or add in two additional pencils that I thought would complete the scale. This is not necessary, but it is helpful if you want to use other materials in with your graphite to make your blacks really black. I always felt the Corinor 8B was always darker than the Dormant, so this was a great opportunity to see them together, and as you can see, I was correct in this assumption. I also added in the 8B from the Mars Lumograph black pencil line which completed or rounded out my value scale. Again, these are just extra things I wanted to add to my value scale. I encourage you to do the same. Experiment and add things that really make this value scale your own. There are no rules here except to make your value changes consistent. You can even challenge yourself and use maybe three or four different pencil degrees to make your entire chart. This is a great way to practice graphite marking control while making a useful tool at the same time. Do you have any art supplies you'd like me to cover? Please leave it in the comments below and feel free to share with anyone you think would find this video useful. Also, tap that thumbs up to let me know you like the video and consider subscribing to learn how you can get to know more of your art supplies. Until next time, keep on arting. Bye!